What's going on everyone? So we are out here at my Ford F450. I absolutely love this truck. It's been a fantastic truck, but a lot of people ask and a lot of people want to know what are airbags actually good for? Because I have airbags on my truck and oftentimes people think, well, if you have airbags, you can really haul just about anything you want in the back because you have the ability to use the airbags, fill them up and give yourself that level ride. But is that specifically what airbags are designed for? Do they help you carry more payload? What are they really good for? A lot of people ask this question. I'm gonna try to answer it. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am under the truck now. You can see my setup here. Well, kind of, the exhaust pipe here is blocking some of it. But on that side, you can probably see the airbags right there in front of the shock on the left side and over here on the right side. Right there. So I'm using an airlift system. This is their stainless steel system. It works actually really well. I've been very pleased with it. I haven't had a compressor failure or any major issue, which is also really nice. I kind of thought that I would by now, right? I've had the truck long enough that I figured something might have gone out on the system, but I haven't had any problems with it, thankfully. But also, thankfully, they have a lifetime warranty, so that would definitely come into play if I did have an issue. You can also see the Bilstein shocks that I have back here. These are not the original equipment shocks. These are actually the shocks that I had on my previous truck and I had to remove them when I sold that truck or at least I removed them when I sold that truck and I had to swap out the actual bushings for them to fit this truck because the bushings are much much larger on this truck and without swapping them out it wouldn't have worked. Anyways I'm under here to explain to you specifically what airbags are designed for. A lot of people believe that you improve or increase your payload capacity on a vehicle by adding things like airbags or putting a lift on the back of your truck or doing a number of different things. But that's not exactly true. Airbags are specifically designed to level out your truck. They are not designed for weight distribution or weight and balance. Basically, by having airbags added to your vehicle, you are able to lift the back up so the truck looks as if it's sitting more level. And in a towing situation, it can actually change some of the weight being applied to the vehicle because if you are lifting the back of your truck and the trailer is now changing its angle, well, you're transferring some weight from the trailer to the back of the trailer, right? It's not doing what a weight distribution hitch does where it transfers weight to the front of the truck and the back of the trailer. It's simply leveling out your truck. Now, something you wanna keep in mind is even though your truck may look more level, it doesn't mean that any of the other components on your vehicle are now designed to handle more weight. All it's simply doing is it's spacing out the distance between the frame of your vehicle from the axle of your vehicle, and it's lifting that up. It's applying actually more weight to an area that typically doesn't handle weight, and that's gonna be the section of your frame where the airbags are attached. And what they're really, again, designed to do is to level out your ride. And in many cases, the way I use them is simply to lower my headlights back down to the road because if the back of my truck is squatting down, it means that my headlights are pointing up higher and I'm blinding oncoming traffic. And that was a big concern. Once I started hauling fifth wheels and you start loading upwards of 3,000 plus pounds into the bed of your truck, it's gonna squat. It's gonna change the dynamics of how your headlights actually face down the road and you can blind people who are driving towards you, which can lead to very dangerous situations for you, them, and other people around you. So airbags are very good in the sense that they level out your ride and they allow you to point and direct your headlights back down towards the road so they're not blinding people that are coming towards you whenever you're towing something heavy. But that's something that I just wanted to share because I think a lot of people are under the perception that you get airbags to improve the payload capacity of your vehicle. That couldn't be any further from the truth. The payload capacity of your vehicle is dictated by the factory. It's dictated by the manufacturer of the vehicle. There are so so many other components under here. Adding airbags doesn't change any of these components. What it does is it actually removes some of the weight from your springs, which is good, but it doesn't actually remove the load from the truck itself. It simply transfers it to a different area of the vehicle. These shackle hangers up here and your leaf springs are all designed in a way to carry weight in specific areas. When you add airbags, you change the engineered dynamics of the vehicle and you move that weight to different sections of the vehicle, but it doesn't change the 
overall capability of the vehicle and in some ways it actually applies stress and strain to areas of the vehicle that may not have been designed for it. So if you use them appropriately and you understand that the goal isn't to improve your payload capacity, it's to improve the level riding nature of your truck, then you're in a much better and much safer position and you know to what extent you can use your airbags. Plus, whenever you see like a 5,000 pound rating on an airbag, that's not the airbags themselves. That's the actual combination of the airbags and the truck's suspension when working properly. So again, it's not designed to say I can carry an additional 5,000 pounds above what my truck was rated for. It simply means that if my truck has a payload capacity of 4,000 pounds and the airbags have a capacity of 5,000 pounds, it was designed to slightly supersede what the truck's payload capacity is. So if you're carrying 3,000 pounds worth of weight in the back, you know that that's within the realm of what the airbags can handle before failure. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me under my truck today. I hope this helped clarify and answer some questions related to airbags. I get a ton of them. And again, just keep in mind, airbags do not increase your truck's payload capacity. All they do is help you level the load and get your headlights pointed back at the ground. And perhaps with your trailer, transfer some of the weight to the back of your trailer simply because you're lifting up the front of it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. And man, this is such a beautiful shot under here. I love looking underneath my truck, to be honest. We'll talk to you again very soon.